Hi there, and welcome to this presentation sponsored by the American Nursing Informatics Association entitled Informatics Nurses. We're here, there, and everywhere. My name is Dr. Cheryl Parker. I am the 2020 president of ANEA, and I'm also a clinical assistant professor at the University of Texas at Tyler, where I'm the program coordinator of the informatics program. And I'm thrilled to be able to spend a few minutes with you today sharing the nursing specialty that I absolutely love. So before we get going, let's talk a little bit about my background so you'll understand where I'm coming from and, and the experiences I've had that have helped shape this presentation. I've actually been a registered nurse for 43 years. Yes, that is my nursing cap. Yes, I did have to wear it for about the first year of my practice until the last hospital in Dallas said we didn't have to wear them anymore and at which case I was very, very happy. In my middle part of my career, I switched over and went to the University of Maryland. I was the first graduate of their postmaster certificate uh, in nursing informatics, and I've been in nursing informatics for the last 25 years. And let me share with you one thing. I have had a really cool career. In fact, if you had told me back when I finished my associate degree program, when I swore I would never go back to school again. I just wanted to be an ER nurse for the entire rest of my practicing life. If you told me what was gonna happen in my career, I would have thought you needed some psychotropic medication because you were really nuts. I spent the first five years working in ERs. I loved it, but I burnt myself out. I worked way too many hours. I went back for my bachelor's degree while I was trying to do all that, and I pretty much fried myself. I ended up taking a job at Equifax Corporation, which was my first non-traditional nursing job. I actually ran a 19-state territory of their occupational health uh, division, which I had a great time. Then I married my third husband, went up to Seattle, and went back into ER nursing for another number of years, had a great time there finished off my master's degree in education because I started looking around and saying, you know, as much as I love ER nursing and I'm having a great time, I'm getting older and I'm not sure I really want to work until the day I die on 12 hour shifts in the ER. So I went back to school, got my master's degree in looking at going into nursing education, which I love doing, but I realized academia was not the thing for me at that point in time. So just by happenstance one night, I'm up in the library at the hospital. Yeah, it was a library with books and magazines and nothing online. <laughs> it's the real old days. And I saw a new journal that had just started being published. It was called Computers in Nursing. And I picked it up. All the lights went off. I had loved computers ever since I bought my first one back like 10 years before that. Um, Everything just kind of went, all came together, photocopied a couple pages, took it back home to my husband and said, look, this is what I want to do. And oh, by the way, I want to move across the country to go to school because I can't do it here. And there's no such thing as online education, or at least not much of it at that point in time. So I did. I went to the University of Maryland, finished that program, came back, went to work in the consulting world, in healthcare information systems consulting. And from there, went into the vendor world, which was not on my game plan. Uh, I worked for three different vendors, Motion Computing, Rubbermaid, and Patient Safe Solutions. I found I was very good in the vendor world. I liked helping engineers design product. I liked working with clients implementing projects. And the entire time, I also taught part-time. Um, and then kind of toward the end of my career now, I found my, my final place at the University of Texas at Tyler, and I'll be here until I don't want to work anymore, or they throw me out, whichever comes first. So it really has been an unexpected career. I never even thought I'd go back for my bachelor's degree. So you never know what life's going to bring you. So what am I going to talk about beside myself here? So let's get to the good stuff. I want to look at what is nursing informatics, some common misperceptions about nursing informatics, what we do, who are we, what, what, is, what do we look like, and what we do, and then kind of our career trajectories, our kind of average career trajectory. I have not had an average career. 
you cannot look at me and go, wow, she's like the normal person, because I'm not. But I've got some stuff for you. So without further ado, we'll get into that. So first of all, if you take technology and you take data and you put the two together, you've kind of got the world of nursing informatics. And the whole point of nursing informatics is to use technology and to use data to improve patient outcomes. That's what we do if you just want to make it really simple. Now, it can get a lot more complex than that, but that's kind of the simple way I look at it when I try to explain to people what I do for a living, which is a lot more difficult than saying I'm an ER nurse. Everybody gets that. When I say I'm an informatics nurse specialist, they kind of look at me funny, even the nurses. So, some common misperceptions about nursing informatics. First off, that it's an 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, no weekend, no holiday job. Forget that one. I've talked to a lot of nurses who wanted to come into my programs when I was teaching, thinking they were going to get away from the bedside and have a nice 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. It, no, no, no. We work go lives, we work nights, we work weekends, we work holidays, we might travel. We do all, it, healthcare is a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year business. And while some weeks we may be 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, other weeks we may be working all kinds of things. So it's not necessarily just that straight 8 to 5 job. And it is not an entry level job. Very, very, very few people can go directly from their pre-licensure program, whether you're ADN or BSN, and go directly into informatics. You don't know enough yet. One of our strengths in the informatics world is we bring a solid understanding of the clinical environment. And I'm going to show you some data on that because, you know, I'm an informatics nurse, so I have to show you data. I'll show you some information on that here in just a minute, but I just want to assure you, it can be something you can work toward, but it's not something you're going to do the day you graduate. And last, that it's all about the electronic healthcare record, aka the EHR, EEMR, whatever you want to call it. No, I have spent almost no none of my career doing something with the EHR. I've worked in lots of different areas, but not that. Now, a lot of people do, and again, I'll show you some data on that. So those are three big common misperceptions that I want to make sure we can kind of get out of your heads with this video. So I promised you data. I'm going to give you data. This comes from the 2020 HIMSS, which is Healthcare Information Management Systems Society, um, Nursing Informatics Workforce Survey, which they do every couple of years. They've been doing it for years and years and years. Um, it's got some great data in it, and that's what I want to share with you now. So, number one, while a majority of us do have a bachelor's in nursing, it is getting more and more common for us to have either a master's or even a doctoral. And the doctoral degree we tend to go for most is the doctor of nursing practice. Some of us do have PhDs. I do have my PhD. Um, and we do need PhDs in nursing informatics because we need more research. We don't have a lot of research, and right now, Along with informatics, I teach evidence-based practice in our DNP program. And when I have informatics students, they come to me very quickly going, wow, we really don't have a lot of evidence, do we? And I'm like, no, we don't. Um, a master's degree in nursing informatics is the most common. Sometimes there are other master's degrees in some of them have master's in other informatics, like healthcare informatics. But as you can see from this, that's not as common. And there's some different things about that, I will be happy to answer any questions when we do the Q&A session. Now, here's the other thing you're going to notice. We have a lot of clinical experience on average. Although we're not having as much as we used to because some of us are starting to retire. Those of us who have got more than 20 years of clinical experience, we're actually starting to retire. Um, but still, if you'll notice, the majority have six plus years of clinical experience. And there's a really simple reason for that. We have to, in order to do our jobs well, we have to understand the working environment. So whether you're in, in an acute care facility or you're in a long-term care facility or whether you're in an ambulatory care facility, 
one of the things we do a lot is workflow and workflow analysis, figuring out how to make the technology work well in a specific area. And you need to know that area. It's hard to come in as an outsider and just learn it. So, yeah, you have, that's why I say it's not an entry level position. We, most of us have a lot of years of clinical experience. Our job titles range from nursing informatics specialist to clinical analyst. We have directors, we have chief nursing informatics officers, associate professors, clinical application specialists, lots of different jobs. It's not just like ER where it's like, boom, you're an ER nurse. You can have a lot of different, I've had at least one, two, three, four, five of those titles in my different um, positions over the years. Our primary workspace is still hospitals and health systems. We do have a group of us that work in, in vendor or payer systems. We do have some of us in the military, some of us in ambulatory care, and of course, us in um, those of us in the academic setting. Although these are starting to shift a little bit, um, but really the health systems are buying the ambulatory care systems and long-term care systems, so they all come under the systems title. So our workplace really is pretty consistent. Our job responsibilities are everything from implementing systems to optimizing and working on improving utilization of the systems, developing the different systems, uh, doing quality initiatives and reporting. Uh, project management is a skill that, that most of us have. Um, change management and then those of us in informatics education. But we also do a lot of education that's not in academia. It's teaching people to use EHRs, it's teaching people to use new workflows. Um, so there's a lot of education um, in our different positions. And our applications, you know, we've been focused really for the last almost 25 years on implementing EHRs, but EHRs are just a tool. They are a tool to get us the data. It's the tool to give us that data that will allow us to look at our quality, to look at the reporting things we need to do. So now that those are getting to the point where they are implemented, now a lot of us are switching over to working on optimization, improving documentation, working on clinical decision support or computerized provider order entry, um, risk management and quality uh, improvement. Not so much on barcoding anymore simply because we've pretty much got those systems implemented now. And while right at this moment when they did the survey, only about half of people were satisfied with their current position, the majority of us, three out of four, are very happy with our choice of going into nursing informatics. Um, I will say I am one of them. I have never regretted becoming a registered nurse, and I have never regretted my decision to go into informatics when I did. So just a little bit about the American Nursing Informatics Association. We are the professional association for nursing informatics professionals. Um, our membership is about 3,000, and we have about 25 local chapters. If you are interested in pursuing in a career in nursing informatics, I would strongly encourage you to, to get in touch with your local chapter, start meeting people, start networking. That's a wonderful way to get started in this in this world along with your advanced education in fact this is the board um, you can see we're a pretty diverse bunch so basically that's our story and we're sticking to it um, we thank you for your, the gift of your time for coming and watching our presentation on nursing informatics um, Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have questions. I'm giving you my work address, email address, which is cparker at uttyler.edu, since I will be rolling off the board in December. It's, you won't be able to find me as easily after that. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find uh, the American Nursing Informatics Association, of course, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. We're pretty much all over the place as far as social media goes. Um, I look forward to talking with you at the Q&A session at, at your national conference. Um, please bring your questions. I am happy to talk just about anything there is 
in the informatics world. So again, thanks much. Enjoy being able to talk to you, and I hope you have a wonderful National Student Nurses Association Conference. See you at the Q&A.